All right, back in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. What's going on? All right, for music distribution, you know who you are. You're looking for the right place. You found it. It's Nectar, nectardistro.com. Go to it today. Sign up. Get your opportunity so that you can have your music sent out to over 200-plus digital outlets, plus pre-saves, opportunity for uh, pre-orders on your album as well. So make sure you go to Nectar Distro today. Sign up. All right? All right, we got a very special guest in the building with us. Speaking of legends, we got Chili Baby in the building from the legendary yeah. Gospel Gangsters. How you doing, yeah. sir? What's, up? What's popping with y'all, man? For shizzle, man. You salute, know your boy salute, riding with salute. you. Yeah, man. So great to have you, man. Man, it's a it's a blessing, bro, just to be on here with like-minded people that, you know, love the father like myself. Absolutely, absolutely. First, of course, uh, we haven't talked to you, um, so we gotta, you know, give our condolences. Uh, you lost your brother, man, and we we uh, we're sorry to hear that, man. It really hurt us, bro. It, I mean, for me, it's a every it's a every day. You know, people always ask me, "Chili, how you doing?" I say, "You know what, man? I'm taking it one day at a time," because you know, my boy, we was together every day, man. We spent our whole lives together ever since we was. 12 years old, we from the same hood. We from, you know, we from the same hood, been to the same places, born in the same place, everything. Yeah. You know, we was just like Siamese twins, man. And when he passed away, bro, it was really, really rough for me. Uh, it was a rough one for me because after you spend your whole life with your best friend and your homie, your brother, it's like, and now, you know, like I was telling somebody yesterday, it's like when you walk in the studio, I'm used to seeing him behind me, in front of me. You know what I'm saying? And now when I walk in the studio, it's me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a click too, but it's me. You know, not not having solo there is uh is a is a, is a big bite for me. Yeah, man. So you know, um, this album that I've been working on, it's it's been a big bite, but it's coming. It's hot. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You are no, I'm not gonna bring y'all nothing that's mediocre or nothing that's yeah. you know. Because when we do music and everything, we I think about y'all. You know what I'm saying? If you're yeah. gonna play me, you're gonna have me on your show, you gotta have the dopest music for that. You know, if you if we gonna if I'm gonna represent you and your lifestyle, I need to represent it well so you can say, Hey, this is what we listen to. And when you pass that track on to somebody or tell them to check out that video or whatever, it's on point for the father. You know what I mean? So I've been taking I've been just taking it one day at a time. Yeah. Wow. It's, one day at a time, you know. Hey, can you just real quick, man? Like, just take people back, man. Take, take. Let's go on. Let's let's get in like a time travel real quick back to like y'all story because we have a lot of new people like in the CHH right. game, right? Really, they don't know a lot about our the forefathers of this. And you guys are like, when it comes yeah. to that street gospel, I feel like you guys are like the forefathers of this with gospel gangsters. Yeah. So, can you just talk about how y'all come together? How'd y'all get y'all first deal? Just real quick. Okay. Oh, for sure. Oh. History, so, man. All right, for sure. So how we came together was, you know, you got two Crips and you got two two Crips in the blood. I was a Crip, Solo was a Crip. You got TikTok, he was a blood. The father brought us together in church. You know, we all was gang bangers, selling dope out there, you know, running in folks' houses, putting guns in folks' mouth. You know, the really, you know, I'm on a dojo ready. Really, we did the really, really real deal. Yeah. Yeah. And the father, man, he blessed us, bro, to for us to all to come to the same church. Like, I was the last guy to come in to get born again. You know what I'm saying? Wow. When Solo got born again, he met Tick. Yeah. And then when I first met Tick, I didn't like Tick because wow. Tick used to be a blood. So it was real, you know, gangbanging, cripping was better than me, bro. Like, the devil had me. You feel me? So wow. even when I first started going to church, I didn't like Tick. So, you know, we would be after church and Solo would be like, man, we go go chill with the brother Tick, and with the brother uh, Todd, you know, we're going to go with the brother Tick. And I'd be like, yes, well, you could go chill with the bro Tick. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 look, they, the, day, the, the day I went, right, so so the, the day that I went, um, we was in his house. And when you go in his house, it's behind the thing. Everything was behind his door. Like, so you sit in the living room in order to see the kitchen and the rest of the house. You had to go around this door. You couldn't see. Yeah. And I was telling Solo in the house, like, bro, what if this dude going to the back and get it? Because when we came in, he showed us his. He was like, he was like, see, he was like, see, bro. He was like, see, bro. 
I, I used to be a blood for real. And he opened up his closet, red Pendleton's, red khakis, red shirt, red this, red this, red this. I'm sitting in there, my eyes like this big. I'm telling Solo like, what if he ain't born again for real? Cause I just get cracked. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> he goes behind, behind that thing, come back and start busting on us. So, so after that, I, you know, me and TikTok, we kind of start jelly. We start going to church. And then when I came, I got saved last. So when, when, when I came, Solo used to pick me up at my dope house and mm -hmm. he used to drive me around the corner and minister to me and then drop me back off and say, you ready to go to church? And I'd be like, nah, homie, that's for you. That ain't for me. You know, I'm out here, bro. You know, but he was my best friend and everything. So it's like when he left the streets, I felt like a part of me left the streets. You know what I'm saying? Just like yeah. a part of the rap game. You know what I mean? So, and then the father put me in a situation where I had to call on him, bro. And then I called on him. I came and it's been 20 plus years later, bro. The father done blessed me. I mean, you, you, I don't, you know, we didn't get in the game for the money. Yeah. You know, we got in the game for the souls. You feel me? Because yeah. we want to see people change like us. So when we got ready to get our first deal, we never had a demo. I never had a demo in my life. We never had a demo. Wow. Um, we got signed from being on stage. Wow. And it, was crazy. it was crazy because um, we was on stage and I was sagging so hard, my pants dropped, right? Wow. <laughs> they, they dropped, right? They dropped. I was sagging so hard. And then the dude afterwards, he was like, man, do y'all got a deal or anything? Like, he was like, nah, because we wasn't in it for it. We wasn't in it for that. We wasn't yeah. even, we, we weren't like rapping saying, okay, we're going to go minister. We're trying to get a deal. You know, and everybody at that point, Soldier for Christ, Dynamic Twins, Peace, uh, all of them dudes, all of my big homies, you feel me? They're my yeah. big homies. Steven yeah. Wiley, all of those dudes, they already had deals and they was already moving. We didn't have them. Yeah. So we didn't even really mm -hmm. know, you know what I'm saying? So after that, the dude came to the side and was like, man, from what I've seen today, why don't you just, why don't y'all just get a lawyer, man, call me tomorrow, because if you don't have one, you're going to need one, bro, get a lawyer, bro, I'm ready to sign y'all now, let's do this deal, so, wow. and we got a lawyer, we did the deal, and then that was history, and then after that, we went on to be with B. Wright, with Kirk and them, of course, yeah. and then after that, we went to, you know, the thing happened with T, and then after that, the homie passed, and after that, it go your boy, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna give you something so silent. I can't, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I, I, I I'm gonna tell you, bro. Do, do our career during our career, people used to always ask me like, "What's your favorite? What's your this?" You know, I ain't never really had nothing that was a real, real favorite. I think the songs that I like that we had over the years was more the gutter songs that didn't play on the radio. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Because I'm because I'm from the streets, and when we would go play those songs. That's the people would flock, you know, the gangsters, the dope dealers, everybody would flock. Like, bro, that's hard, bro. That's hard right there. So, yeah. you know, for 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 this album, man, you know, um, this album is called The Sleeping Giant. You feel mm -hmm. me? And it's the reason why I call it the Sleeping Giant is because a lot of times in our career, I never really said too much. And the reason why I never really talked too much like solo or take is because I felt I wasn't as educated. You feel me as those two, and I didn't want to make the father look like like he was uh, dumb or nothing. So I wouldn't open my mouth. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I would just chill, do my music, whatever. I would have things to say, but I wouldn't say a lot because yeah. whatever I said about the father, I wanted it to be on point and I wanted it to be real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so now, at this point where I'm at now, I got a lot to say. You feel me? So. Wow. Um, I got a lot to say about the game. I got a lot to say about the father. I got a lot to say about, you know, career writing, you know what I'm saying? Producers, engineers. So the things that I'm I'm putting together right now is is like basically for the whole genre. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these dudes out here that's young, like you talking about us old school, a lot of these dudes that's young, they don't even know the history yeah, of yeah. I'm from. But if you do secular music or you do, you know, or, or everybody know what Run DMC is. Everybody know who Cool Herc. Everybody know. I know that because you know that's hip hop. So yeah. my whole thing is like, if you're in CHH or you're 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 in you know Christian hip hop, you need to know who the people was that came before you. Yeah, you feel me? that's right. very very important. Your foundation is very important. So many times I I meet young young rappers, bro, and they say, uh, uh I say, bro, so you do this, uh. You know how long you've been doing this? Oh man, I've been doing this for two years, and you know, I just got saved, and God just told me this. I say, Well, you know anything about the history? I, oh, I just got saved, and God gave me the gift. I said, <laughs> I said, Bro, you need to 
go back and you need to check your heritage, bro. Like, check this out, y'all. Let me see. What I think? I got something yesterday from Stephen Wally. Mm. Bless me. Look at this. Ooh, oh, wow. 45. Oh, snap. Bro, this is the first 45, bro, of the first gospel rap, bro, that ever been recorded, bro. Wow. This is a 45. Yeah. So everybody that's looking at this show right now, if you're if you a gospel rapper or, or whatever, and you know about this music, or even if you're a listener, you want to know where this music come from, it come all the way back dated to a 45. Mm. Stephen Wally. You feel me? And that's how they used to get it to the radio stations by record. So when yeah. gospel stations came out, we didn't have no internet. You couldn't just pop up and be a a, a, a microwave rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, feel me? you you just you know you know you yes. you know you can't pop up. And you just you know I call it, I call it, no disrespect to them. I call some of them microwave rappers, bro, because they think they're supposed to be able to press a button and everything's supposed to work out. Yeah, you no, know? they don't. It don't. It's not like that because. We grinded for this, bro, when it didn't have no internet, no nothing. You had to go from church to church to church. So if you didn't go from church to church to church or you didn't see the tour, you didn't see us, bro. Yeah. That's how it was. It, it was, it, you know, right now we could press buttons. There's millions of people all over the world that can see us right now. Back then it wasn't like that. Yeah. We had to talk, push these spots. Talk about y'all being raw, man. Y'all, y'all like, like y'all was like. Like the first album, the testimony album, with y'all on the cover with the guns and everything and the Bible there, and in the back of it, the y'all taking the Bible and laying the guns down. Like, just talk about that album, man, because it was raw. It was like it was almost like the straight out of Compton for CHH. Man, that album right there, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the reason why I was raw because it was uncut, bro. I was fresh off of cocking a gun. You mm, feel me? Yeah. My life fresh off robberies, bro. You know what I'm saying? My life was fresh off the corner. You know what I mean? So that's all we knew to talk about. And everybody that we ran into was just like us. Mm. So, and, and the father just blessed us with that raw. Like, you know, I I can, you know, have eloquent speech and etiquette if I need be, but, <laughs> you, know, you know, but, you know, but, but when it comes down to it, bro, I'm, I'm from the, I'm from the block, homie. Yeah. I'm from the real block, bro. And like you said, bro, I'm almost 50. You feel me? And I'm from the block. You feel me? I talk to killers on an everyday basis. And that's what gang affiliated come from. You know what I mean? And it's still raw like that. You feel me? That's that's where it come from. Because gang bangers, bro, when you walk up on them, they gonna, they gonna sniff you out. It's just mm -hmm. like when you're a cripple blood in LA. You don't have to have on no colors. It's just the way we talk or the way we look. Sniff you out and tell you from the other side. You feel wow. what I'm saying? So that's how it was for gang affiliated, man. We just wanted to bring somebody something rough and raw you know and when we went in and we did it we did that album in 30 days bro mm. a lot of people don't know a lot of our albums like gang affiliate do or die all that was done 30 days tops music everything wow mm. you feel me thursday music everything because you know how you be on schedules you know what i mean so yeah. to be to be a blessing and to be rugged and raw like that that's what the people wanted that's what's the street even like still today yeah. listen to the music today it's different but you still got these dudes that's rugged and raw on the streets. And a lot of people come to me and say, hey, Chili, you know, I, man, you know, I feel like I like to hear when it's raw and coming from the streets, man, because they tell you the authentic story is no sugar coat. Yeah. You know, and I, you know what? I, I believe you. I feel you. I say I feel the same way, but I also feel that you should get the streets rugged and raw, unadulterated, but with a solution. Yeah. Feel yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's the thing that that uh, we were talking about earlier is that y'all were raw, but you were also raw about Jesus. Like you, there was no like sugarcoating or or try to hide it or anything like that. Why do you think that's kind of gone away? Well, why do you think that that's kind of been conditioned out of the new artists to not be direct about what they're talking about? Well, you know, a lot of people try to follow somebody. You know, a lot of people um, in the game they try to sound like the next dude, rap like the next dude, music like the next dude. You know, when we were when we were first getting into the business and everything, we was doing, I think we was working on an I Can See Clarity Now record. And um, we happened to go to the studio and Ice Cube Reels, bro, his Reels, bro, was sitting in the studio wow. in the corner. The masters, bro. Wow. So me and Solo, we sitting up there like, bro, this Cube, this Ice Cube masters right here. You feel me like, for real? And you know, we... We, you know, we from the hood. Yeah. We was like, man, he's slipping. 
<laughs> I'll bring this back to the block. Yeah, bro, you was like, you, was like, you, can, you can put this in the car and bring this back to the block right now. Yeah. Hey, bro, ransom, give me a million. <laughs> but but we, we, started, right. we started laughing about it. But what was a blessing, it put us in a position. When he came in, he had to get him. Yeah. You feel me? So when he walked in, he was like, oh, what's up, bro? <clears throat> so Solo chatted with him. We went out and chatted with him for a minute. He was like, we asked him, like, what would you say to somebody that's new in the business, that's getting in the business, or just new with the music? He said, bro. And we asked him the same thing you asked me. Like, why y'all so, why is rough? It's just raw. Y'all just like us, bro. Y'all just brought. He said, bro, long as you do what's authentic for yourself, mm. you know, don't try to be nobody else. He said, if you do whatever's authentic to you and you just be you, God is going to bless you in every other way. You don't have to try to be nobody else. Mm. So the best thing, bro, is just be authentic and be true to what you're doing and mm. be true to what you're saying. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So when I say gospel gangs to Jesus Christ to the death, y'all white brothers to the death, bro. This 2G's can't pay forever. <laughs> this ain't, mm. you know, this ain't going nowhere, bro. This ain't, you know what I'm saying? To my yeah. dying day, bro, till I leave this, bro, this Christ is nothing for me. You feel me? Because that's where I come from. And he been keeping, even through trials and error and all that, bro, he been keeping me all this time, bro. Mm. Dudes where I'm from don't get kept, bro. Mm. On everything. Like if any knucklehead is talking right now, I got little, I talk to killers on everyday basis. I got little homies from my own hood right now. Told me, big homie, if you don't got a 30 stick, don't walk off the porch. Mm. Wow. You feel me? So imagine four youngsters, bro, walking off the course, all got 30 rounds in their guns, bro, and they approaching you. That's 120 rounds mm. at one time, bro. Yeah. The ghettos, bro, right? The ghetto, bro, in the hoods, bro, is sick with that right now. Killing it as all time how high right now. I don't, I don't know how it is in other places, but where I'm from, my homie just got shot in the head a month ago. My other homie just got shot five times. By a female, they just bury him, put him in the ground. You feel me? So since since the homie passed away, bro, no lie, bro, like 27 of my loved ones, bro, that I know, shake hands with, hang out before, all of that, bro, from the sandbox, them passed away, bro. If it ain't COVID, it's gunshots. You feel me? If it ain't gunshots, it's date rape. You feel me? So, like, the ghettos is still at an all-time high, bro. So if you say you real with this music, and you say you love the fire, you say you rugged, you say you want to leave, see life change. Trust me, if you ain't rugged and raw and real with that thing, when you open your mouth, they gonna know, bro. Mm. They gonna know. So yeah. in this thing, bro, you gotta be authentic. At least be, at least be, this is what I say, at least be real with the father and yourself. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, bro, you can lie, you can cheat, you can steal, you can tell anybody whatever you want to. But when you get to the when you get to the spot, bro. And you lay it down and you put your head to rest for the night, it's only you, the father, and the devil. He listening mm. what you said to the father and the father. No, he the devil know you didn't lie. The father know you didn't lie. Even though you didn't lie to the homies in the hood, talking about you the hardest, but you're scary. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. so, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm saying is be yeah. authentic to yourself, bro. You get in this game, let the father guide you, bro. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Do what he tell you to do because that's how I get in. I don't look to the left or to the right no matter what. Somebody can come and tell me, bro, this is the hottest song. If the father don't tell me to put it, I'm not putting it mm. because he might want that song for later or something. Yeah. So, you know, being being from the being from the hood, bro, you got big homies, you got little homies, you learn instruction really well. You feel me? So <laughs> when once when when you know, I got I got something where I said on my album, I say, uh, where I talk about when your homie tell you get in, I said the pressures of life. You know what I'm saying? When the homie tell you get in, pass you a Glock, and tell you sit in. You feel me? When he pick you up and pass you that Glock and tell you sit in, it ain't nothing you can do but go on that mission. Mm -hmm. And you gotta take them instructions quick and very well. So I've learned how to take instructions for the far, from the father quick, very well. Wow. You feel me? I, I, my thing is to listen to the father first, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. That's what I say. In my clan, I'm the top loke. Y'all wait first, you back bite me. We not folks. Mm -hmm. You feel me? In my clan, I'm the top loke, but y'all wait first. Yeah. So you could be a leader of your crew, but if you don't put God first, 
It's going nowhere. It's doing nothing. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? It's doing nothing. No. Mm-hmm. Can, can, can no. you um r- real quick, man? You you dropping gems and our, yeah. our live is going crazy and they loving it. Um, can you talk about? I know you guys. Um, can you talk about the deal of being signed to be right? Because we have a lot of people in the CHH world that's like people are big time. People are approaching them for deals. Like, how did that happen? And talk about being signed to a major because you guys were signed to be right slash Interscope. Right, right, right. So. Man, the be right deal. It was it was some ups and downs in it, you know, like mm-hmm. everything. But this is what I will say, Vicky Latiad, though. Yeah, that that chick right there. Yeah. If you get on her team, you're gonna win. Mm-hmm. If you if you if you if you, I'm telling you straight out, she's a she's a promotional genius, bro. Her mm-hmm. whole team. So when we went to be right, bro. It was they put us in a spot. Because I'm going to tell you one of the least songs that we didn't like because it wasn't gangster. But it blew. I'll be good. Yeah. We, mm. we didn't even want to do it. Really? We didn't want to do that track. It was, wow. good. It was for Kurt at first. Yeah. That track was for Kurt. Oh, so yeah. when we, wow. we, we got signed to them, um, and Michelle Duffy from D3 Entertainment, that's been the homegirl from, from we started together, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. So when we would start, when we start doing these big deals, she helped us get grafted into all of those deals, and, and she was starting to be a manager for herself. So we was doing it all together. So when we when we got to that point, and we was with Kurt and them going all over the world, we was just like, this is like bananas. Yeah, feel me? Because you step into another bracket, you know, new levels, new devils. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So you yeah. got you got you got to be more on point when you out there with that. Like that. So anything I would tell anybody, I don't care if it's B right, I don't care if it's C right. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Go to a good lawyer and make you make sure you got a good team by your side for that paperwork. Because this is the thing. The Bible says gift come without repentance, bro. So yeah. you don't have to repent for for the gift he gave you. Yeah. But you gotta be a steward over it though. Yeah. So if 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 I just tell y'all, go get you some good lawyers, get you a good team and then if they're approaching you you approach them correct they're gonna approach you correct but if you get on her team you gonna win because she's a he's a genius bro well we're gonna try to get on the show man because i I think i follow her on facebook but i'm I'm gonna try to get on the show because she's bro she's uh, she's a genius her stories of how she sound kirk and everything we was all over we was all over there together yeah you feel me i ain't gonna even lie it turned my it for for his music and being an artist my life was turned upside down from that point. Wow. Like, you know, it was like, now, now it was like, you, you, now I'm living the life of a rap star. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Like, certain things is different now. Yeah. So now I gotta, you know, I used to say that word now, I can't say that word over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, you, so, you, so, you, so you come from the hood to etiquette. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's how it goes in this gaming. You know what I'm saying? Once you become uh, uh, a public figure, bro, you just can't say anything. You just can't do anything. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. a lot of people say, well, Chili, why don't you just go go, go out there, man, and talk about blowing them in their face like you used to shooting them, bro. Why don't you, why you don't just talk about the booty shaking? Why You can make a lot of money at that. <laughs> I say, homie, I'm stamped, homie. Mm. You know, I said, being with the father is like, a, like the mafia, bro. <laughs> once, you know much, once you once you know too much, you can't you can't just go out and do whatever. That's real. You know what I'm saying? The devil will whack you. Yeah. Yeah, you, know yeah. you can't just go out there and feel like, oh, I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Once you stand by him, you can't just do that. It don't work like that. Mm-hmm. You'll yeah. get out there, bro. And you'll get whacked, bro. And that's what we get, when we did Camp A when we started the Camp A. Yeah. That's what you know. Like you know, you guys ever seen Life, the movie Life? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, you remember that camp? Camp A. Yeah. yeah. Camp yeah. A. Oh, Ain't yeah. no gun lines at Camp A, boss. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. What's going to happen? You leave the father, ain't no telling what's going to happen. Yeah. And you know, eight is the number of new beginnings. Seven is the number of completion. David was the eight son. You know, yeah. the eight is ascension and descension. You know what I'm saying? It's infinity. It's forever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when the, when 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 Moses and, them and everybody met, they met in camps. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. And that's why we called ourselves Camp A. And because on, on the movie, remember, they was all criminals. Mm-hmm. Everybody in the A, the criminal. Mm. Ex-criminals. Yeah. You feel me? So when I, I had told Solo, like, man, because we used to laugh about the movie because 
to us, the movie was gangster funny. Yeah. You feel me? Because you got these criminals, they get in trouble all the time, and they funny. Yeah. So yeah, we would just yeah, laugh yeah. all day, bro. We would just do their little jokes and just laugh all day amongst ourselves. And one day we had the crew and we was trying to figure out like, what's going, what we going to name? What we, you know, what's going to be that name? But you know how you go through that. So we was like, well, and we, why? I said, solo, we ought to call ourselves Camp 8, homie. And he was like, why? And then I ran it down to him. And I kid you not, bro, that night he went to sleep and then he woke up. He said, Chili, you right. Look at this. He started flipping out the scriptures. David was the A son, the ascension and descension. Wow. This, this and that, this and this and that. Camps, and this, this and that. I said, okay, bro. I said right there, bro. It's the new beginning. So yeah. that's why we say the ocho, because when you give your life to Christ, bro, there's a new beginning for you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. The things are old are gone. Yeah. You know, you look towards that new beginning and that's you. That's dope, you know man. I mean? As you take hey. a whole new beginning and keep running, bro. You, you, you know? That's awesome, man. So, so tell people how they can find the new music. When is it going to be ready? How, tell them everything. How to find you, follow you. You got a lot of fans in here, man. Right now, bro, I'm I'm uh I've been recording this whole album myself. I recorded the whole album myself. I got a click. I got Rare Breed. I got Terry. I got Ion. I got uh V Spell. He the one did the 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 bank on the remix. Mm -hmm. So I mean the bank on the song. Then I just got a remix to that from from my boy Giant Killer in in um in London. So right now is in London. I got a remix going in London. I'm about to shoot a video tomorrow for the wow. remix. Um. So I just, man, CampAidRepublic.com. You know, that's where you go to the spot, CampAidRepublic.com. For the IG, it's at CampAidRepublic. For my uh, for my personal one, is IG is at Chili Baby. You know what I mean? So, bro, I've just been working on this. I've been working on this gear, bro. I've been working on, check this out. Let me show y'all something real quick. Exclusive. <laughs> Track stars exclusive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like we over your house hold for up, real. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we chilling with him. <laughs> yeah, shirt on the uh, on uh, draped over the uh, chair. I like the I like the shirt he got on. I'm yeah, trying to find out. I think it's a hog mob shirt. Oh, is that thirty seven? Yeah, hog mob. Focus on God, ministry over business. Yo, kick your feet out. We at his we at his house for real. Like this, <laughs> I, this <laughs> I, <laughs> I think he's at a hotel though. Yeah, yeah. look like one. Okay. Oh, shucks. Oh, snap. That looks dope. Yeah, that Yo, how, how can people get those? Damn. I just I just got them done, bro. I just finished them. I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them up in a minute, but you get the shoes and you get the bag. Yo, I like that, man. Oh, wow. so, so once you once you done with the uh once you done with the shoes and you don't want to, you know, you could you could use it for a bag, you know, overnight stay, whatever. You feel me? I yeah, like that, so, man. That looks really good, yeah. bro. Yeah, I just been working on this gear, man, and working on things, and you know, working on myself and working on the record. You know what I mean? But uh, this record that I did, you know, I didn't really go like super duper chalupa. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, y'all tropolis, y'all. I just want to, I just want to, you know, to come back, be a little cool, be a little easy, <laughs> get everybody familiar. Right? You feel me? Like you said, yeah. oh. Fans, new fans, you know what I'm saying? Radio, you know, the whole thing. But the, the, the I'm three. I'm already finished with the first one. I'm three songs into the next one already. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. So I'm working. So now we got, this we, we got some requests for you. People want Seven to be on something with you. Uh, somebody was asking about some Lost album that never came out. Like, they, yeah. these, these people know you, man. yeah. <laughs> oh, we! I can, I can. I'm gonna get on the line. You know what? Matter of fact, just before I came out here, I was gonna go to Seven Show. Seven, my homie, man. Seven, real, seven, 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 my real homie, bro. Mm. Seven, my real homie. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sad. All the way, bro. He, he, my real homie, bro. He, my real homie. So I'll do something with Seven for sure. That's okay. That's, there, that's you yeah. there you go. There you go. But yeah, the next, the, the next album, bro. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna hear the change. The next album is like "Hello to the Bad Guy." So. Okay. The next, mm -hmm. my back on that gang affiliated type. You know what I mean? Yeah. This album is some radio joints, some other joints, but you know, the next album, bro, is back to them streets so cold. You know what I mean? So it's just been a blessing, man. The whole, yeah. the whole thing been a blessing, bro. This new journey, everything. 
Well, make sure back. make sure when you got some out, you come back so we could talk about it and you could break it yeah. down for everybody, like all the oh, lyrics yeah. and what you what you what you meant. Yeah. For sure, for sure. All right, man. Sure. Thank you. All right, bro. You in the field you, with man. the track stars, Ryan Wright to Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Salute, y'all, man. Thank you.